Hi guys, this is Buffy. In this video, we're going to try out to do some relic and data sites in, in NullSec or in LowSec. Uh, if you haven't actually seen the video about uh, fitting um, the, pro the data or relic site um, for alpha clones, uh, those are linked here on the side. So we have here a uh, Heron, and I'm just actually, let's see here, I am just inside a low system which has a link to Veil of the Silent. And you actually want to do this in uh, in low sec or null sec since high sec is actually kind of hard to find sites because it's a lot of people want to do those. And for the ISK um, per hour you will make by doing it in null sec, it's much higher. So, um, so just try to find a uh, kind of a good way to actually get into NullSec and like invest like one and two hours by being there and try to get back into LowSec, dump everything in every loot in a station. And if you have the time or the energy, go back out there and get some more ISK. Uh, so let's have Doc here. So if you haven't actually probed anything before, uh, here's the probe scanner. You get this, let me take it down. You get this by the scanner. This is a D scanner you see here to the to the down here. And the probe scanner goes here. So this is cosmic signatures. This can actually be combat sites. It can be wormholes, data and relic sites, and um, yeah, stuff like that. And any one of those could actually be a data relic site. But I will just actually show you how to get into NullSec and do those in NullSec since you will be earning a lot more ISK in those systems. Uh, so if you are in NullSec, there will be there can be bubbles. It can be stationary bubbles as of those. So before you actually go to the next gate here, this IPay, please try to actually warp to another to another celestial, like a planet or a custom office. So you will actually bounce and don't be caught in those bubbles over here because they are linked to, I don't see if you can see it, but they are linked to the IPay gate. So if you work from the IPay gate, you will land in that bubble. And that bubble will probably be like 100 kilometers off the gate. So you need to burn uh, the whole way to, to, this, to the Stargate. And that's an easy way to get, to get yourself killed. Uh, this is one cosmic signature here, and there's a lot of uh, people here, so I will actually try to get some further in NullSec before we go here. I actually have a, a warp core stabilizers, uh, which actually give me some chance of escaping. Um, a normal disruptor, a long point. Uh, here you can see the bubble. I actually landed in a bubble either way. Let's try here. Uh, but with the course, uh, work course stabilizers, uh, the long point can't actually point you, or you will be, you can get away either way and warp away. So uh, this kind of saves you a lot since you actually can't use a cloaking device in alpha clones, which this video is is about. Not about dying, but uh, okay. So well, there is a site here. Oh, there's a cosmic signature. So. Why not actually, I'm deploying the drones here, launch pinpoint formation, and you go into solar system map here, and you get the solar system here. So this ring here is the cosmic signature ra um, radius somewhere in, in here, um, this site is. So you will just need to move this to make it in the center, perhaps make it bigger, and press analyze. Depending on what ship you use, it takes various time. I think this is like, I don't know, 10 seconds. And we kind of have a lot of bonuses to uh, to data and relic sites and 7.5% to combat site 
combo strength, so that's fine. And 9.5 signature uh, signal here, and so we don't actually see what side it is. Uh, so we need to move this closer, try to get the, the spot there, and just minimize. Oh, just take away this, and minimize the size of the probes or the scanning range of the probes. Sorry. And we wait, <clears throat> and still don't actually know what it is. And let's uh, do that. So you can see here I'm, <clears throat> I'm zooming in more and more and getting closer. Even if the sing signal range, signal percent here um, doesn't actually get in higher. I mean, but I start to pinpoint where it is. So this is a combat site, and no, <laughs> uh, you can actually not do a combat site in a Heron. So since it's a combat uh, data and the relic site user so um, let me put in the drones and when you recover the drones here they land in your cargo in your cargo hold and so you need to actually reload reload those before you can actually launch them again but I will first jump in here This is kind of a kind of a thing you need uh, you need to do. You need to have a they should have a route. I don't know. Let's uh, let's pick a route here. I will uh, pick my old my old home. That is the e e w e -A w sorry. And there we go. It's four jumps. And I will just try to find a data or relic site to show you how it's done. So I will just fast forward some. Okay, so here we see that it's a data site over here. So, and this is one we actually want to do. So, we are up in 17% uh, here. So, and we need to get 100 to be able to warp to it. So, let's see if we actually can get that 100% soon. And there we go. So, I would advise you to actually kind of look into what this um, data site contains. If it contains uh, enemies or um, you know NPC NPCs or anything else, uh, most of those data and relic sites doesn't actually contain any NPCs. But um, I've been in in some data and relic sites, you know, in in Wormos and such, and the sleepers there is kind of insane. And you don't want to take a fight in in this here on at all i mean you have 25 dps and uh, sure you actually have some tank but i mean it's not close close to be enough uh, of tanking any embassies uh okay so here you can see mainframes okay data bank mainframe com tower uh so we will get close get closer to one of them and we should target them with the 20 kilometers and here is where the cargo container comes in, scans the cargo of other ships, but this actually works on those data, uh, those data sites as well. So let's see here. We can we start by targeting, targeting it. Sorry, and you just use this this cargo scanner here, and it says bloop. And you know what's inside it, and so if you actually can, uh, if you actually know and do a lot of sites here, you will actually know how how much worth this is, and if it's even worth um, hacking. Okay, so I use this data relic data analyzer. 
So the goal here is to actually find uh, the mainframe. Um, can I make this big now? Okay, and you do this, you see here, those rings here, with the links, you need to go that path. So if I click here, three more opens, right? I need to find the mainframe. So as long as you don't actually get in the, get into a firewall, uh, you can just continue to click here. Okay, so here is here. This is a system core. Um, so you can actually you actually be able to successfully hack this if you um, make this. This is how much it it kind of uh, coherence to um, to take to break this. I mean, I have ninety now. So if I click here, twenty five minus, and I go down here, plop plop. And then I actually go down 10 because I have, I have bonuses to it. So, and plop, and the hacking is successful. So now I right click and open the cargo, and I take this loot. It's worth 1.3 million, and I'm done here with that side, uh, with that uh, mainframe. So I will approach another one. Let's unlock it. I'll take orbit 500. This is actually quite fast, so... Oh, and actually... We'll grab those as well, so... Stack it, so, there we go. Room, room. So, orbit... Thanks to the... Um, thanks to warp core stabilizers, I only have uh, 20 kilometers of, uh, of targeting range. That's why I have so low, otherwise I will just be able to cargo scan much earlier. Um, Let's see here what it says. And it says, okay, I actually know that this is this is actually not that great. I mean, this is worth 220K uh, spare parts, uh, not that much. Carbon, meh, almost nothing. But sure, we will do this just to show you. Okay, two paths to pass here. Uh, okay, so here is a, here's a def defense, a firewall or whatever. This prohibits you for for going anywhere any any further in that path, and it blocks one one each of those spots around it. Otherwise, I would just go around here, but I can't. So I need to either break this, or I can continue up here. And the longer or more click you actually make, this will later increase every every like click you actually make here. Uh, so I couldn't break that one, um, and you need to know that this is a, this is an alpha clone. So I don't have like the perfect skills to actually do this because you increase the coherence and how much like, it takes for you to um, take it. And you can find some 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 random uh, utilities here. This is a subsystem. If you actually use this, it will drop here and. When I find a firewall or something that will that will prevent me from going anywhere further, um, you can cut that in half by using this. So this is 80. So I click this, and I click that, and now it's 40 without me losing any virus coherence. So I will actually break this. Oh, and this this one here is a data ca data catch that it can be a firewall or anything to actually prevent you, but it can also be some bonus or a utility. And this was actually not so. And I will expect that the data core isn't anywhere here. I will just go down here if I need to, to find that one. So I will just continue looking for the data, the data core. Perhaps in the middle. Hmm. That's not good. Hmm. You see here, now it actually increased. And there we have it. There we have the system core. And I did it. So open cargo, 360, you drop it, close it down, and you go to the next one. So you can see this is actually show shows us empty. This one here is filled. You see that square here is filled. 
this is empty and it's empty because I've been in those two and it doesn't contain any more loot. By doing this, it's estimated that you can make around 20 to 35 million isk per hour in an alpha clone. And I know it actually doesn't, it doesn't look that way, but uh, if you actually find a system and you kind of want to roll by scanning down and just doing those sites for like an hour or two, you will actually probably perhaps earn that much. I mean, it's kind of random what what those uh, data banks and the relic sites and data sites actually contains. Oh, I forgot to actually, there we go. And it does contain, uh, can be, can be okay, I guess. So I'll just do this and then I will probably Jesus. Hmm. No, I will just continue. No, oh, so this is actually pretty bad. The defense here actually. Oh, this is actually a self repair. Every click I make here, I actually go go up in the coherence. Oh, this is catastrophic. Okay, I'm not be able to actually do this uh, to make this. So let's just fail that one. And let me just say that the, the relic sites are kind of the same as this. You kind of do the same the same game here to actually hack it and you just got a, a different set of loot uh, and stuff like that. So, so, um, so you don't need to actually be like a specific, uh, go specific for, I don't know, um, data sites uh, or just relics. You can just go to both. So, um, so you don't need to worry about having the, the right module. I mean, you can have data analysis or relic analyze. So just just pack them both, and as you can see in the video, um, when I fit the ship or any another kind of um, Jesus, come on. and you see here, I actually failed this one, so it actually actually explodes in my face. That's a big fucking boom. Whoa. Hello. Okay. Uh, but this is actually how you how you will do data and relic sites in alpha clones. Um, if you're lucky, you will get a lot of a, a lot of isk just by by doing some few some few of those um, sites here. And you kind of have three three to four ways to actually make isk. Um, as an alpha clone and this series here this playlist will actually contain all of those steps and a lot of uh, fits for for the alpha clones both in pvp and in pve so make sure to watch those videos and i'll just try to get back home with the loot here and the video is done thank you guys Okay, so here we actually are in with the bubbles here, and it actually has a lot it has four bubbles, and they're actually covering most of most of the areas here. Um, so you see here, Ubi has has those sites here. Um, let's warp to this astro belt because then you will be you will go there, and then we get that direction down here. So it's not a normal direction you will come from, uh, and that's actually the way you will you want to land on the gate. Since so, I will actually miss the bubbles. So probably, hopefully, I will actually not be caught, be caught in a bubble. 
I mean, the bubbles can be on the gate. It doesn't need to be a stop bubble. So you stop so far away from the gate. It can actually be a bubble kind of close around the gate. So you actually will need to burn a shorter amount of, of distance, but uh, I mean, I'm in here on, so I can probably get one shotted. Uh, but uh, okay. So this is actually, this is actually fell. Um, so that is a lot of far away. Oh, nice tip. If you shift click and you click on a module, you will, you will overheat and you will increase your amount of speed for a short period of time or actually until uh, the module uh, breaks. So you can see here it's a heating status. So like two of those overheat cycles, you see the green thing here, um, it's like enough before it actually starts to break things here. So 41% damage my data analyzer is and my shield is 41% damage to the shield. And I mean, the shield extender here, it doesn't doesn't decrease your shield. Um, I mean, your shield, it gives off. It just shows you that 100% it actually breaks and you don't receive any bonuses from that. Um, so as long as something isn't broken 100%, um, it's fine. But be careful not to actually overheat and burn your MVD or anything else. Because then you need to get some nanite repair paste. Then you can, if you have that in cargo, you can right click and you will take repair. So I say here, no nanite repair paste. So I won't be able to actually repair it in a space. So I need to actually repair it in a station. Okay, so thank you guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe or watch other videos in this channel. Um, here is the playlist somewhere here and perhaps my channel is above here or something. But um, thank you for watching and good luck making that ISK to be able to plex your account for the first time. So good luck on your way to Omega.